Hi Year 4, welcome back, Mrs Powell here. Now for today's art activity we're going to be exploring tonal colour, so different lights and darks of the same colour. And to do that we're going to use our oil pastels which you'll find in your art curriculum pack. Now for inspiration for today's project I have chosen to do a dragon's eye. Uh, dragons are fabulous to draw because um, they're make-believe, so you can make them whatever colour or design you like. You can really have fun with it. So, let me show you how it's done. Okay, so I'm going to start drawing my dragon's eye um, with a very light um, diagonal line. I'm going to press on quite hard so that you can see it, but please make sure that you um, don't press on too hard. Uh, so that you can erase the marks afterwards. So you're going to kind of start your diagonal about here and then sort of just ever so slightly curving it. It's not a dead straight line up to about there. Okay, so this is going to be the, the size of your dragon's eye. So we want it nice and big. Okay, that's the main feature of our drawing. Then you're going to make a, I guess it's a kind of leaf shape really. So you're going to join this, these two points of the diagonal together with a nice big curve like that and the same on the bottom so it's like a leaf and that will be our dragon's eye okay just move that down like that nice and big okay so then you're just going to put some lines in for the um, kind of uh, surrounding scaly bits of your dragon you can have fun with this I will put an example on the slides that you can you can uh, use as a reference but just make the dragon your own you can do whatever color you want uh, whatever pattern of scales you want um, uh, it's up to you and then I'm just going to put like a little kind of eye ever such a thin eyelid here just going halfway and like that for a dragon. Now let me show you how you might go about doing the scales for the uh, the uh, area around the eye, directly out. They're sort of more lines which go curve in towards the dragon's eye, like this, okay? They're a different shape to the sort of scales that um, surround the dragon's face. So, and on the other side, the bottom they kind of curve in so they're kind of curving in to create that sense of three dimensions okay just like that okay now let me show you how I am going to do uh, the dragon scales um, the key to this is making them they're a little bit like leaves also but also they need to overlap so a bit like fish scales so I'm gonna kind of make that shape and then tucked behind I'm going to do another shape like that and then in this space here tuck one behind and you're going to sort of follow the the shape of the eye so it's going to kind of curve upwards and you're just kind of building up the scales like this I'll speed this up for you So that's your pencil work done, that's the hard bit. <laughs> now for the fun bit, we're gonna add oil pastel color. So we're gonna start with the eye itself. Now you can do your dragon's eye whatever color you would like, but I'm gonna do mine um, with these three hot colors, starting with yellow and then blending to orange and blending then to red. And let me show you how it's done. This is the great thing about oil pastels. Um, they are so soft that you can easily blend them, okay? So I'm just gonna go sort of up to this point with my yellow, okay? And then I'm gonna go in with my orange. So I'm gonna overlap my orange and I'm not gonna press on too hard to begin with. Um, so I get a, a, a slightly lighter, orange here okay so I'm just gonna blend oh look at that 
blend where the yellow turns to orange. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so now I'm just going to go back in with my orange, this time pressing on slightly um, harder, so it's a darker orange tone. So you don't want any of these, um, the white paper to show through, so you have to sort of make sure that you maybe go over it, um, maybe go over it with your pastel or maybe blend again with your finger, so I'm just going to blend like that. Just try to make sure that it, you don't go over your pencil marks too much. Okay. Now, now we've done the orange, I'm going to make it go to red. Okay, so go in with my red, overlapping slightly onto the orange. Okay. Blend that, blend that, blend that. That's looking nice. So it looks like a really glowing dragon's eye. Okay, just tidy that bit up a bit. Now, now that I've got my um, eye, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to um, make the scales look three-dimensional, okay? I won't do the whole thing, but I'm gonna actually do a blue dragon, okay? Because I've got a nice light blue and a uh, dark blue to work with, okay? Incidentally, if like me, you've got a red finger, um, go and wash your hands uh, so that you don't accidentally smudge your blue with your uh, red finger. I'll just use a different finger for this uh, video. But what you're gonna do with your um, dark tone, so if you're doing green, this would, this would work with green uh, on the outside and yellow in the middle, actually. Um, so I'm just going to show you on a, on three um, scales. So I'm just going to outline them with the dark. Then in the middle, I'm just going to put the light blue, okay? Then it's all about blending. So I'm just going to blend those blues together. And hopefully that will give you the sense that the scales are three-dimensional, okay? So just blend that out so that the, um, the marks are nice and smooth. Okay, blend that out. Now it's looking a little bit smudgy there, so what you need to do is go in with your white and do a little bit of a highlight of white. Okay, and then finally, being very careful um, with black. Black is a very strong pigment, so you're just gonna do a tiny bit of black on the very, very edge of those scales, and then blend it slightly, okay? Okay, and then keep going. So I'm just putting the finishing touches to my, um, a dragon's eye. I'm actually using a black permanent marker uh, for the uh, pupil here, this sort of um, slit of the pupil. You could use a uh, black oil pastel again, or a Sharpie pen, something like that. And I just wanted to show you, uh, just to give it that extra realism, I've used uh, the white um, watercolor paint that's in your watercolor uh, set, just to uh, do a circle to give that highlight. So here is my finished oil pastel dragon's eye and I hope that you can see that the use of the tonal colour, the lights and darks, really add to that sense of three dimensions and also the oil pastels are beautiful to create that sort of glowing effect of the eye. Um, so if you'd like to have a go at this and share your work with me, please can you copy it onto a slide on your art portfolio. I have created an art portfolio for each of you, which you'll find in the art Google Classroom. So have fun with this activity. I hope you enjoy it and keep drawing. <laughs>